I'll never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malak? You're a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> Transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. It'd be a quick strike by the Republic and cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet.
Uh, we've got problems. We've flooded some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. You know, during our rather rapid descent, I noticed the hulls of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Maybe the parts you need can be found among their wreckage. The old man's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. Good idea. If that temple's generating power, it probably has something to do with that disruptor field. Hey, don't forget about Bastila, guys. We still have to rescue her, too. I just hope we're not too late. Bastila's been Malik's prisoner for a long time. If he turns her to the dark side, she'll join him and the Sith will become invincible. I remember, though I hoped you would not be so quick to embrace the being you once were. If Bastila feels as you do, then she is lost to us, Revan. Let us... Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. Got something on your mind. I don't want to. Now that's a unique method of getting someone to talk. Thunder about like a bantha in a circuit shop. Does that work for you often? If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. You'll go far away to a place that doesn't hold any... Eh, partly, maybe. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life. Perhaps many women. But if you're f the Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even... P love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear, and can be con controlling your passions while being in love. That's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you. Uh, listen to me go on. You do, do you? I wouldn't listen too closely. I'm no author. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow. And how do you deal with the bad part of love is what determines your character. 
I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, the trick is to know when that is. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Yes, what's on your mind? You got... Yeah, what do you want? Hey, don't worry. I think a real war is there anything else you I'm not happy with the way my life has turned. I'm not the Mandalore I want. I think I think I need something more than killing and fighting in my life. Killing is never enough. Anyone can kill just by pushing a button. A warrior fights his battles himself, as you have done, and try the way the Mandalorians. We fought. It holds no appeal for me. Honor in battle. Cheating death. Comrades in arms. The co- I think I'm something different. I don't think there is really any place left in the galaxy for the Mandalorian clans like they were. I don't know if I can go on forever fighting as I have. Even war- Once my time with you is done, once you have moved, maybe the Mandalorian clans will be reborn again. But dreaming about the future is stupid right now. Is there something else? Your
Wait a minute, you understood those creatures? Of course. You and Malak must have been here before you. You probably learned their language back when you were Revan.
Thank <laughs> you. 